Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red heart, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, mean to have my back because I have yours. We're going to pull from the true emotions to see what cards oh, those tried to come out. A jackass and spiritual gifts. Well, that is... <laughs> I was going to say when we feel when we when we know we have spiritual gifts or we're empaths, we deal with a lot of jackasses, clowns that we end up kind of thinking in the long run because we ran away as soon as we did. But those jackasses, we normally tend to miss. I miss you. Spiritual gifts. You could be dealing with this person in the 5D practicing self-love because you're addicted to them. And at some point you realize that you're happy or single, but you really aren't. Um, if that makes sense. And so with that being said, having spiritual gifts is you trusting in your intuition that, you know, this person is somebody that you miss and that you are addicted to codependent uh, with. But at some point you're happy single. Let's clarify, Jackass. Yeah, at some point you're happy single. Um, and uh, that's the best way to be at some point, especially when you can't, you haven't. Look at all these cards that came out especially when you haven't really practiced self-love and you have to learn how to trust your intuition and realize that sex ain't better than love and that you need love and you need to be okay with where you are in this situation. And so happy single says doing, uh, doing you dating, stress-free setting goals and career focus. So you could just be focusing on your careers. We have the seven of cups energy because with this jackass, you have options. You do have options. They might have options. But at the same time, the Queen of Swords energy, you know, you can either speak your mind um, or let this person affect you. Or Queen of Swords says, stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind. Don't take shit from anyone. So there's a clown there. And with that, a clown and, um, you know, the thing is that this person has to realize or you have to realize that dealing with a jackass can sometimes make you want to consider this person a family and not speak your mind but uh queen of pentacles energy like jds tarot says the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself because a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what that no matter what is toxic so that jackass makes you toxic where you don't trust your intuition and you don't practice self-love because of the codependency and the addictive type energy of the bad boy, bad girl type energy. And we have the seven of wands. The seven of wands is makes you defensive when it comes to dealing with this type of energy uh, because you're not getting the love that you want and th that you deserve. And you're not also loving yourself enough. And you know basically what it is that you're dealing with. And so at that same point, the seven of wands is in this, in this card deck, I used this the other day, but in this card deck, you know, this is somebody planting a crop and the crop not doing good. The scarecrow is there, but the crop is failing, you know. So at the, at the same time, with the seven of wands being here, you still have to, have to persevere through this and maintain control of your life. And so with that being said, the empress energy, you have to see the beauty in yourself. But the empress energy is you have to be able to create. So even though bad times are there and you're dealing with somebody who is you know basically a clown you have to be the one to pull your energy back and re realize that you reached the plateau four cups energy you're disconnected from this energy and so with the four cups also it's like you contemplate in this but at the same time you're disconnected from this jackass because they don't want what you want and you're actually realizing that and that's why you have to learn to trust your intuition no matter if you miss this person or not um the spiritual gifts are here you see the cards are just flying over consequences of your actions the hierophant oh i thought that was a justice energy the hierophant energy the spiritual gifts here it is that look at this card this person i mean this judge is in la la land looking and thinking about something else and he has the ability to lock a person up and to make a decision and to change their belief system or to change something in regards to what should be, um, well, how do I want to say it? 
uh, for somebody they for somebody to obey them, but this person's head is in a different space. And so with the Hierophant energy, the Hierophant says, let me look at it, um, if I can find it. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. It says, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's over here on my right side. Let me see if I can find the Hierophant. The Hierophant says, The Hierophant says, um, have faith uh, and seek spiritual guidance and education. Study the no knowledge uh, you deserve and always act in accordance to, with your beliefs. So at some point, you know that you have to trust in your spiritual gifts and your belief systems. And sometimes you have to unlearn to relearn, which is the Hierophant energy basically is. Uh, and, th and that's a hard thing to do, you know. Um, you have to be able to know that you have to change things. Maybe you have to change your belief systems. Maybe you have to uh, look at things as you trying to figure out if this is norms or, you know, you dealing with this person and why. But that takes for you to have to practice self-love. The cards fall out. Three cards come out. We have the nine of wands. Yeah, the nine of wands is always you setting boundaries. You have to set boundaries. The seven of swords is because this energy is causing you anxiety or it's causing you to feel insecure. But also the three of pentacles. This is not an energy that is willing to work with you. Um, if you look at this, they're here. There's the banker. There's three coins here, three of pentacles, three years. And somebody is has the choice to be able to work and to build collectively but the three of pentacles also can be you know teamwork but if somebody isn't trying to work with you like that then you have to practice self-love the addictions is which is the capricorn energy um sorry uh the addictions which is capricorn energy is just basically letting you know that hey i gotta be able to uh get over this and temperance have balance in my life and this is somebody Look at this. This is two men here. One is offering a ring um, because they can afford it, and one is giving flowers. But who do you take uh, the energy from, or what do you do? And, again, the temperance energy is just like finding the balance when it comes to is it sex or is it love. You have to choose. Ace of Cups energy is right here, which is, you know, a new opportunity. You can do this, you know, this could be love, this could be new relationships, this can be compatibility, this could be creativity. You have to be able to decide what is best for you. Is it sex or love? Because, you know, you can love a person and basically miss them and all this other stuff, but is that an addiction? Is that a codependent type energy? Is that dealing with a narcissistic type energy? How is it? Or is it better for you to be single? You have to make that decision. So we're going to clarify happy single the card fell out unsure and the card is two of cups energy yeah because you know right now with the two of cups being here that this is not a situation that's going to be uh, present any love or new relationships um, or any compassion or creativity so what it seems like to me here is this person three of pentacles could be and it's not but i'm just saying it could be somebody that's an older gentleman that like has their cake uh wants their cake boy has had you know what is it have your cake and want to eat it too or something like that this is that type of energy that this person doesn't want to work with you as a team it's third party energies but it also is you having a choice to make a decision in regards to is it sex or is it love that you want from this or do you want to just go ahead and put all this on the back burner this love and relationship and especially when it comes to um um, especially when it comes to, you know, trusting in your intuition and, you know, holding in your emotions and practicing self-love, what's the best for you? Again, self-love comes out and tells you that you're happily single. I'm going to clarify the two of cups. The card fell out, which is the page of swords in the reverse. So with the page of swords being in the reverse, it just lets you know that there is some type of, uh, you have to like take action or, you know, um, it's like somebody is, all talk they're not really here to give you what it is that you want so that's why you want love but at the same time you know there's addiction there's a jackass and there's also room for you to have to 
listen to somebody just keep talking and even though you miss them that's not what you want i'm going to clarify the page of swords energy you want somebody that's really going to take action the card fell on my lap let me try to get it uh, king of cups energy you want an empathetic person uh king of cups energy says uh only love, compassion, and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek. That could be for yourself or it could be from others. And so with the bottom of the deck being here, high priest is back to trusting in your intuition and your spiritual gifts. Because even though you might miss somebody, you still have to work on yourself and go from there, if that makes sense. And so I'll pull from the Ascended uh, Life Oracle to see what comes out. You're ascending and you're realizing the difference between separating your wants and your needs. Do you want this relationship? Do you need this relationship? Or are you okay with or without it? And that's what you have to ask yourself, whether relationship, friendship, job, or whatever you have to ask. I said friendships, that's crazy. Friendships or jobs, you have to ask yourself that. And uh, it says, attracting new friends, changes in changing in friendships, spending more time with friends, and letting go of toxic friends. So that's what's happening in this process of you learning to let go. But also, it's angels. You're divinely protected. And so it says, uh, divinely guided, ask for help from your angels. You, uh, you are protected. Pay attention to signs and dreams. And so you have to trust your intuition is basically what the universe is saying. Trust in your intuition. I cannot see with that light there. Trust in your intuition and know that, you know, everything that you're doing is uh, divinely guided. And, you know, you have to realize that you're not doing anything to hurt anybody or to make somebody feel some type of way. What you're doing is trying to create a life for you when you trust yourself and be able to move forward. And again, trusting your intuition. So I think that's really good. And that's what we needed from this read. I'm going to go ahead um, I'm going to go ahead and just pull from the crystal deck. Hmm. Let me pull from, I'll pull from the breakup Oracle deck. So if you are separated from this person, place, anger situation, I'll pull from here. Um, the card that comes over, trust the plan. You see it. It tells you right there, trust in your plan and, and trust in your intuition. Breaking point. It says I'm reaching my breaking point. I feel pushed to make a decision. And so if somebody is put, feel like somebody is pushing them to make a decision, what do you think the decision is going to be to make temporary, excuse me, to make permanent decisions on temporary motions? So this is you trusting in the plan and realizing that you have to let go of toxic energies. And you, there's a reason why, because it's better to be single and to learn to love yourself. And then that way, when somebody else comes in, then they can love you the way you need to be loved, not the way that you want to be loved or the way that you um have been loved in the past that's what i'm going to say i'm going to pull from the four agreements if you want to um if you want to get my perspective on the four agreements and the um, crystal deck which focuses on the chakras click the links up above we have always do your best in the lemurian quartz it says your best is changing all the time it says your best will depend on whether you are refreshed in the morning or tired at night. Your best will di will be different when you are happy or opposed to uh, as opposed to upset or healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstances, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse and regret. So again, do your best. You've done it already. You know that. You know you've given everything to a situation that may not serve you and so with that being said the lemurian crystal is all chakras you need to focus on all of your chakras um this is spiritual evolution meditation and dreams spiritual evolution meditation and dreams it says i reach beyond time and space so trusting in your intuition and letting and, and being divine guide guide divinely guided is what i'm trying to say so there you have it i think that was a really good read you guys um, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you rock with me, got my six, me and have my back because I have yours. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.